Welcome back guys to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download Ubuntu 20.04 onto your virtual box. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and comment on this video. And if you need any help with any kind of electronics, let me know and I'll gladly help you. Alright, so first we're going to want to go to Ubuntu. We're going to write it, want to write it out, Ubuntu 20.04. And then we're going to hit the first link. And from here, it'll say Dex desktop image. And we're going to want to hit that one, save it. I already have it saved here, as you can see. So I'm not going to install again. It's about 2.6 gigabytes. 2.6, 2.7, doesn't really matter. So here I'm gonna go to the virtual box. And then from here, I'm gonna want to hit new. And then you're gonna type Ubuntu 20.04. And then it should automatically already find it for you. Then hit next. You can do whatever memory you want, but I'm gonna do a little bit more. Then create hard disk and then make sure it's virtual box disk image. Leave everything the same. I like to I like to ha give a little bit more uh, hard drive space. From here, so I'm just gonna give 43. Sure. Hit next, and then make sure that it's highlighted on a Ubuntu 20.4, and then hit settings, then storage empty and then click that and then find the ISO file where you have it and then hit OK. Then you want to hit start. Let that load up. This will show up. Just hit that down and then Ubuntu 20.4 disk image or ISO. Going to want to let it load. Going to check the disk. There are times, I will tell you guys that, there are times where I just had a black screen for a little while. Don't panic. Don't touch anything. Just let it do its thing. And then something will eventually happen. Or your computer will just blow up. Whatever, whatever works. I'm just kidding. It's gonna let this load. While we're waiting for this, I might as well mention if you guys have any, you know, comments or any troubles with this, just let me know. Uh, I'm happy to answer any questions. Okay, so that just finished. Checked for errors, no errors found. And also, if you guys can't figure anything out, and you guys want to make, you want me to make a video about it, then feel free to let me know. Either email me or just comment on the video. My email should be in the in the description. And also, don't forget to check out my other videos as well. See, and this is exactly a perfectly, perfectly good example. It just goes black for a little bit. Don't worry, I'm like that too. When, when it goes black or freezes for a second, then I always get panicky as well.
Okay, perfect. So now, this panther or tiger or I don't even know what you want to call it. Show up. And then this will show up. So you want to hit install. You can try it, but I'm just going to hit install for this. Find your language and your keyboard. I'm English, US. And from here, we're just going to do a normal installation. And I'm going to get rid of the download updates just for the purposes of this video. And sometimes it does um, it's kind of slow at first. But you just got to be patient, of course. Um, also, I should mention that this Ubuntu actually has... Oh, hold on a second. And then here, we're just going to erase disk and install Ubuntu. This will get rid of everything you have. It's on VirtualBox, so you already shouldn't have anything. And then again, it'll just say the portions that'll be formatted, which is fine. I don't really care. And then where you are, I'm gonna say Toronto. And here, of course, who you are. Sounds great, Patrick. Make up whatever password. There we go. For this, I'm just gonna log in automatically and then continue. And then from here, it'll start. Copying, and then I'll see you guys when it's done. Should only be a few seconds. And there you go. So installation is complete. We've got to reset. Make sure that it is complete. Let it do its thing. It'll ask you to remove the installation medium, which is the ISO file. Just hit enter, it'll get rid of it right away by itself. It'll clean. Here's again. Excuse me. And then it'll load again. Uh, this will boot. Ubuntu, 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 don't really know how to say it, but um, this version, apparently there's Skype, Spotify, um, there's a bunch of different um, features and whatnot you can get from it. check for you guys real quick again as you can see it goes black again There's just a whole whack of different apps that you can go and get. Um, you should see here in a few moments. There are different like apps and stuff, but for some reason it just wasn't loading for me. I don't really know why. I'm assuming it's probably because I didn't have the update.
yeah see okay online account so you can add your Google account Microsoft account whatever you want and then privacy and then here like I said software install So a lot of great features. Calendar, new calendar. Um, you can get Google Chrome browser, this VLC media player. Lollipop music player. There's a video editor as well. There's so many. Great. Only Office, which is like a Word, Microsoft Word type thing. You'll see Media Player, just so many great different apps you can download there. Try this a little bit earlier, and for some reason it just didn't want to work. But yeah, I think that's it. I think we're just going to hit done. And yeah, there you go. And then software update if you haven't already paid your software, and that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. This is how to tech tips. Keep teching on.